Hey friends, thank you guys so much for watching Cook with April on Tasty Tuesday with our taste tester Justin. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make something that's not from scratch, it's semi-homemade. It is a delicious, addicting, it's so good, cookie bar. So I hope you guys stay tuned. So let's get started with these magic cookie bars. You'll need one cup of melted butter, 14 ounces of condensed milk, one cup of graham crackers, one cup of white chocolate chips or milk chocolate chips if you prefer, a third cup of pecans. So preheat your oven to 350 degrees and I created the graham cracker crumble by putting it in a bag and I just use a meat tenderizer and I just smashed it. You can also use a food processor if you want to do this instead. And then you're ready to combine the melted butter and the graham cracker crumbles into a large bowl and that's going to be your cookie bar crust. So you're just going to pack that onto a rectangular or square baking sheet. Then you are ready to pour this delicious condensed milk. I don't know about you guys, but condensed milk is my weakness. It's so good on everything. And then you're ready to sprinkle that chocolate chips. I'm using white chocolate chips, but like I mentioned, you can use milk chocolate chips or even butterscotch. That sounds really delicious. Then any nuts that you prefer. I added pecans because that's what I had. And that's it. That is just so simple. It was just semi homemade. And then you're ready to bake it at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. It's gonna turn out so ooey and gooey and delicious. That's why they're called magic cookie bars. Okay, you guys, taste tester Justin. All it just right. came out, so it's not like that solid form, so we're gonna eat it with a fork. Okay, um, so I hope you, dang, you're really digging in there. And his eyes close and his head mm. Dude, does all that crazy, you know it's good. I feel like, honestly, you have to have a crunch in here with the nuts. Mm -hmm, yeah. The pecans make these cookie bars, yeah. you guys. And it's so delicious. Mm -hmm. The white chocolate, you know, white chocolate's not usually my thing. Yeah. But it's actually really good. And we can- last, I like it. Yeah, and last mm -hmm. time we did um, milk chocolate, because I've been experimenting mm -hmm. with this recipe. Last really time, good. you guys, you can switch out the pecans and the white chocolate chips with with um, milk chocolate chips and then also add macadamia nuts mm. instead because I felt like that one would have been even better because I liked that one last time. But this one is still really good and you can always mix your nuts in your different types of chocolate chips. I was even thinking about adding butterscotch. I was thinking that this could like use some like chocolate syrup or something on it. Oh. Is that bizarre? Honey, that's too sweet. Oh. <laughs> you guys, oh my gosh, when he said that, I was like, what? You guys, if, you add, if you add chocolate syrup, okay, it's already- or chocolate something. Oh my gosh, it's I'm already sure. so, so sweet. You guys, it's condensed milk. It's <laughs> chocolate chips. It's so sweet, but heck yeah, honey. You want some chocolate syrup? I can hook you up with some chocolate syrup. I'm here. okay, it's good, it's good. <laughs> That surprised me because you usually don't like things that sweet. I don't know, just the chocolate you flavor. You just like, I feel like milk chocolate. I think that's what it is. Chocolate. Yeah, I like the yeah. Milk chocolate. See, I like how honest he is. Yeah, yeah I know. Good job, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, friends, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.